I want to talk to you about what's been going on in my little off the grid cottage. There's a, I have a neighbor over here. Last Sunday, he thinks he owns 10 or 12 feet of my land, which I only have like a little quarter acre, half acre of property. He owns 160, but for some reason he thinks he owns 10 feet of my land, 12 feet of my land, which he doesn't. It's, I have a legitimate survey. And then I have a guy who owns a hundred acres at the top of my little driveway here, who thinks he can deny me access because he owns part of the access road. So I don't even know exactly what it's about, but to be honest with you, it's all legitimized here. In, in, in the province of Quebec, you can't sell a cottage without having access to it. You need road access to your cottage, even to sell it. And we have an up-to-date survey that says both of them are completely out of line, but they're like old school, right? They wanna like yell at you and intimidate you and harass you and all that kind of stuff. And right now they're giving us the cold shoulder. They're treating us like shit up here. You know, my sweetheart and me don't need this stuff. We don't need it. I bought this as a vacation property somewhere to get away from all this kind of bullshit when it comes to my daily routine in the big city of Ottawa, you know, but it's been so goofy and it's caused a lot of stress in me. Last week on Sunday, I couldn't sleep. I had to take a day off work because I was just thinking up, what am I going to do about all this? What's going on? You know, feeling victimized, feeling hopeless and all this. And just to let you know that there's growth in what I'm saying. And, and what's going on in my life. There's a lot of growth because in the olden days, it was act, it wasn't act, it was react. And if somebody said something or approached on my property or blocked me in on the, my top of my road, oh, by the way, I called the cops on that guy. So they came and dealt, dealt with him, just like regular people do instead of taking it into my own hands. You know, by the way, he had like four or five guys up there. So I was not gonna get out of my car and confront these guys, just let the proper authorities do it. But that's growth for me because in the olden days, I would have mouthed off and became physically aggressive with these people, trying to intimidate them into my own way. And by acting accordingly and doing what the law requires and doing what our society says to do, what's appropriate, is what I like to do. And plus, not, not act in a way that I feel shamed, hurt, or feel let down the way I acted over the situation. Like I said, it's caused a lot of grief to us. And, and I, I, saw, I felt like selling the damn place, to be honest with you. But that's just the way things go sometimes in life. Just because we're sober and we're working on a good life and we're trying to be better to other people, it doesn't mean other people are gonna be good to us. It really doesn't. We are not doormats. And we're, we're allowed to fight back in appropriate ways. We're allowed to fight back in ways to protect ourselves. And one of these ways is that we have a survey, I called the police and I will lawyer up if it comes to it, but I'll fight them back in appropriate ways. I don't have to go over there and have a big yelling match with them or let them affect my life. I don't have to do that anymore. It's not a right and wrong thing. It's just that that's not the life I'm trying to lead. But the old days, it was react. Today, I want to act responsibly and get a result that I can live with with myself instead of acting like a complete asshole and coming across as a lunatic. Let them be the assholes. Let them be the lunatics, not me. This is a daily program, a one day at a time program, and I have to work the program the way I see it and the way it's been taught to me. And that is be responsible for your behavior, be responsible the way you act, way you, how you feel about yourself and how you respond to other people. Even when we know that they're wrong. We know that their behavior is inappropriate. We still need to treat others with respect because the way we treat them is a direct reflection on how we feel about ourselves and how we treat ourselves, believe it or not. It's not all good stuff that teaches us lessons. It's also a lot of the bad stuff and a lot of the negative stuff in our lives. There's a lot of growth with that. There really is, okay? So I'll keep you updated. This has been going on for a couple of years. The guy at the top of the hill, Kenny, He's not here today, but he, he's been harassing us and bothering us for about two or three years now. Off and on, not all the time, but off and on. Enough to call, cause difficulties. And the guy next door to here is, is his friend, believe it or not. They've been friends for a hundred years. So there's nothing I can say it's ever going to break that friendship up. And I'm not going to try and do that, but I can't let them 
encroach on my property and you know if you know I like to think that there's oil underneath my property because the other neighbor tried it too like my property must be valuable somewhere I don't know to me it's just a bunch of trees but for them it's valuable but none of them want to do anything about it to uh to fix the problem they just want to mouth off and uh, cause us uh cause us headaches up here I tell you sometimes I wish I would have sometimes I felt like selling it believe it or not because I don't want the hassle this is a vacation property somewhere where you have peace and quiet and just get away from the hustle and bustle of daily life okay so that's all this video is about it's a bit of a bit of a rant bit of a bit of not a rant but you know we need to act instead of react to everything and that is golden it's golden in our sobriety okay my name is terry g this is an alcohol free life channel where we're going to live sober one day at a time you can take a channel can you take a channel can you take a second can you please subscribe to my channel but can you all do me one favor can you hit that like button i'd really appreciate it. i'll see you next time and just remember take it one day at a time together we are strong we need support one day at a time to get along with ourselves and everything around us in life and with the program of recovery whatever one you're in you can do that one day at a time okay i'll see you next time god bless ciao for now